Greetings from the farm. Welcome back to the Mondo Farms channel. I'm standing by the Musangu tree down here at Riverside. And for those of you who are getting to kind of understand the geography of our farm, that means I am on Riverside 2D, uh, which is the block that's closest to the Musangu tree. So I'm standing and if you can see behind me, it looks devastated, right? And those yellowish things there are butternuts and we harvested this butternut so on this video it's time for another one of our crop stories where we tell you the story of a crop from where it began how it was grown and looked after and everything that happened in between to the time of harvest so stay with us as we take a look back at this crop story of the butternut <music> As usual, every one of our crop stories starts with a crop poster. And here what we see is crop butternut, variety Waltham by Nuvance, planted September the 23. And this uh, was bought from Farmer's Barn. And this is what a field looks like after the, the products have been uh, harvested. Oh, by the way, I always like to mention our fruit fly traps, uh, which are Cyranoc uh, fruit fly traps lures uh, there you can see the line of them they're actually all around this field um i hope you can see them and these fruit fly uh traps uh, help us of course against the fruit fly so let's start the story as we always do with the time when we were preparing the the, the land here uh let me try and remember what was here before we had carrots i think we had carrots before uh, early on in the year so by sort of uh, early September we were preparing uh, trans transitioning into the uh, fruiting vegetables including butternut uh, the squash that's over there that you've seen in the other videos as well as the cucumbers and the melons and the stuff that are down on Riverside uh, 4 down at the down at, down at the very 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 bottom of this side so this was one of our, our fruiting vegetables so let's look at how we actually get get started with this one Iwe, ndani, Fred, kwa hiyo nakuwa ndrichi yako mwenye cha hila, dotu isi hila, wana dotu ya minusi ya ndani wa deva tenga dotu ya mbili, buwela wa kontrole dotu, buwele uku iwa isi hila, buwele kwa hiyo tu uchaimua mwenye wacha hila ginana wa ndana, ginana wa natimu. Kusa kwesa tutatu, tutu hai? Riverside 2D Vangena kusa kulirako Hapa, majumbirako hapa pasaiti At least wa pushing up, pushing up hapa Ah, 
Hai bloko ya pano hivu uta mauzu ino. Ah, last year mwena tivutila green paper. Ah, hivu uta hii. Ni after one week kungena mu, after one week kungena mu. Riverside to block D. No butternut. Fertilizer and then last week. Yeah. I am a food associate that in two. I am a road example at the band. My road is now my my arms are many a boy. The match table, you go you go in there you go in there much. My road is now the big ones. You go in there. Hmm. I just see me view man. You want to go to the So it's not a forest. It's not a forest. Okay. Greetings from the farm. Here we are to have a very, very quick look at the butternut crop here on uh, Riverside 2D. Let's go in. As you can see, it is looking very, very, very well grown. So we're going to see if we can walk in here. It's quite intimidating, actually. I hope I don't step on too much stuff. And we start to see that the butternut is fruiting. I think we did do a harvest the other day, but uh, yeah, start looking at it. I'm gonna have to go in there a little bit. It's, uh, it's like walking through a forest, a rainforest. Yeah, I have to do some pruning here, I think. So, we look down, we see lots of flowers and Remember, each successfully pollinated flower becomes a fruit. These are what I call fruiting vegetables. Is a butternut a fruit or a vegetable? It is what it is. Bit of construction going on there, so putting up another shelter. So here's our butternut crop from uh, late September, getting into some fruiting there. Ah, there's one, there's one here, actually. It, uh, butternut is a squash and uh, very nutritious vegetable good for farmers in terms of return so uh, it's something that we plant from time to time I think this one we timed it well we had one crop uh, that didn't do too well you know, especially when we're really in our early learning phases but this crop yeah I think we did we did good the ups and downs of farming eh? 
greetings from the farm. Here at Riverside 4, there's a very famous thing we have here called the Musangu tree. So when we were first setting up this farm, uh, a long time a while ago, this was one of the landmarks of the place because the place was quite bare and simple. So the Musangu tree is situated in Riverside 2, block A, B, C, D. So Riverside 2, block D. And right now it is surrounded by a field of butternut and we'll just take a very quick look at the butternuts here and it's quite hard to walk through but uh, let's find some uh, thingies by the way this is a Serenoc uh, fruit fly trap as you know fruit flies are a major menace to uh, fruiting vegetables like butternuts oh look here's a butternut here here is a button. Hello, Mr. Button. Hey, will you, Mr. Button? Hello, Mr. Button, baby. Yep. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So, yeah, it looks a little bit like pumpkin. How oh, it is, but I don't know if people actually eat uh, butternut things. So, we have a bunch of butternuts uh, growing underneath the foliage cover here. Uh, I'm seeing a little bit of need for some spraying, so we shall be coming in with some uh, antifungal. So it looks to be like we have what I suspect is downy mildew. Let's see that. We shall be putting some in here very, very soon. Mm. Hi. Because again, we can pack up my leaves, we let fungus. I think both sides. Yeah. I'm sure I'm not watermelon. I'm not So you want some nonica, my tepe, my tepe, my dala, eh? You dala, dala, you want some, you want some white, white, you such a jamonica, new, my new, eh? Riverside to block D. Still, I chose some old leaves or butternut. Scouting inspection. Did not try am a So you you think you see the issue? Yeah, what why why is Number one, I'm my new leaves. Tenge po yaku nyumba. Ami ni wanika uko. Mwenye zwa bani. Aya pia. Oyonse. Ni decha ni muna spraying. Tinga di. Oze. 
Riverside two block D Yeah, but in a story about the Nati, so the Lotashitamu harvest Yon Setaicho Samu Paka place yaka So type it ku storage So about it to continue video art So I'm going to meet her later Story. So, my design my gradings, on my sizes. So, if I go to the room, I go to the room. I go to the room. I go to the room. I go to you don't say double, but you can't then design grading. So I'm up on Riverview now, and I'm standing by the uh, grain storage shelter that uh, you saw us building in a previous video. This is where we look after the grain. The butternut that you saw being harvested uh, the other day and then transported up here yesterday with the truck, it's now sitting in the grain storage uh, units. And people might be asking, why didn't we take it straight to market? Because the price isn't very good right now. And as you know, we farm to make money. We do farm to make money. So you have to be careful with the pricing. Fortunately, butternut is one of those crops that you can keep for a little while and uh, as the rainy season sets in, there's fungal diseases and other things and people start focusing on field crops like maize and soya and other things, so the price should be able to, to appreciate a little bit. Having a quick look here, as you can see, everything's been put together and the next phase will be grading. So in grading, we'll show separate it out into three different rooms because you get different pricing so three different rooms with three different sizes you can see very little ones and some rather medium sized ones and some large ones as well so it shall be going to market maybe 
in a couple of weeks or so we see how it goes we also can look out for some of the the diseased or challenged ones as well the mondo farms channel is your place where you come to share with us on our journey uh this wonderful journey that we're doing uh, as we develop this farm crops trees vegetables it's all here as well as some of the other works that we're doing uh, in order to take a piece of bush and to make it into a commercial farming venture in the shortest possible time possible because i'm now 51 so i don't have much time to be doing experiments and failed um, enterprises my name is Yusuf Olotia, always with you uh, here on the Mondo Farms channel. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Please uh, click the like button if you can and comment. Let us know what you think, maybe some of your own previous experiences with some of the things that we're doing, especially here in this video, as well as subscribe to the channel so that uh, YouTube will let you know when a new channel, a new video comes in the next sort of week to 10 days or so. I'm going to say bye now. All right. You take care. Shalenipo. Bye.